Hello, my name is Anthony Kerr, the Operations Manager at Newington Housing Association. Today we're on the Limestone Road. Uh, the Limestone Road in the past would have been in the press for all the wrong reasons because of the interface violence between the two communities. Today uh, we're, we're coming with a sense of hope. There's 71 new homes created, uh, first class quality homes, uh, and now there's a sense of pride and community spirit within, within the Limestone Road. Now that it's regenerated, it's the place to live. Because this road being Protestant and Catholic, you know, it used to be, used to fight against each other, used to constantly bottles, glasses, and right now, it's like we're neighbours, we're together. I think Newington has been the impetus that we all needed. My name's Seanine McCauley. Um, I live in the Delaware building on the Limestone Road. I'm one of the Newington housing tenants. Um, very, very privileged to be a Newington tenant. Um, I've lived in the area all my life. Family and friends are from here. For years, while I grew up, it was a war zone. Um, there was a lot of conflict, um, antisocial behaviour. Um, where now there's CCTV cameras, um, and it's become a community because it's no longer derelict. You know, and Newington have been the backbone in that. It's rebuilt, regenerated, and it's um, full of families and people are educating their families to live in peace and to share in the community and, and live together. And the youth clubs and schools are educating children, you know, that religion just isn't about war and conflict. It's about living together, growing up together and living in peace. I would love to say thank you very much for making my family whole again. That's, I couldn't, uh, couldn't ask for anything better. That's all I wanted was my family to be together. And now that we are, we're, we're the happiest we could ever be. <coughs> Ellie has spent 18 months in hospital and um, we had we had nearly two years in the house. Getting the phone call to say that there was a possibility of getting an extension bond on the year was, it was amazing. <laughs> Poor work then I had been tortured. I was up and down this road every day finding out what was going on and how far they'd come and what it was like and then they put it together and was able to look through the window and see the side. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Well now Ellie's just over two and she's sitting there and she's the happiest wee baby. You know, she's all life support at home. She gets intensive care treatment at home. We've got special cars who's been specially trained for Ellie days and nights that comes in looks after Ellie. So, you know, we don't know what it's going to lie ahead for Ellie. We don't know if she can walk. We don't know if she can talk. You know, we don't know what kind of the school she'll go to. Will she come off the ventilator? Will she have the track yet? We don't know. Every day is just a learning process, for Ellie. Hiya. We're so close to family here, and the hospital's here, and as you can see, there's plenty of space. I would like to say a big massive thank you to the Newton Housing Associate for making everything possible for my family to be together and. Thank you for the house and the help and getting us where we need to be. This is a plant called comfrey. Comfrey. Oh, yeah. comfrey. Yeah. We're trying to add to the well-being of the residents here at uh, Camberwell Court to uh, provide a way for uh, people to get outside, to get involved in the garden, to get involved with each other to uh, spend time together, enjoy talking, enjoy uh, learning new things um, and also get gardening and, and grow food and, and cook food and eat food. Newington Housing have set up a tremendous facility here and people find that they can do something, that they can contribute to the community and uh, certainly by growing things, by making, having food grown by being able to supply food, they are doing something wonderful. I had a garden where I lived and um, I miss it so this makes up a bit for it. And the companionship of my lady friends and gentlemen friends is very good. On a Monday night we have crochet or knitting or sewing, whatever you like. And Tuesday we have coffee mornings and again bingo. Thursday's the same. Wednesday we have gardening. Most mornings of the week there's something going on. I'm only here for about three years. And previous to that I lived in a big house. 
which was beautiful also. But a time comes when one has to change and I'm very glad I made the decision to come. Other people in home, old or social housing don't have things like this. But maybe if they see this, they'll decide we could do that.